In this video, I'm going to be bringing you the best guide for the time travel will tell Easter egg on the Black Ops 1 and 3 Zombies map, Shangri-La. This Easter egg can only be completed with 4 players in the game unless you're on PC and have mods that enable the Easter egg to be completed with less than 4 players. The only gobble gum I would recommend using is Immolation Liquidation because you're going to need to hit the box to acquire the baby gun pretty early on in this run. The perks I would recommend picking up are Juggernaug and Speed Cola, which alternate between the mud trap area and below the minecart every game, Stamina Up and Double Tap 2, which can both alternate in the lower levels and in the caves. Step 1 is going to be turning on both of the power switches at the bottom of the map. After you've turned on the power, all four players will need to stand in the spawn room next to Quick Revive and press the dials at the same time to activate the Eclipse. Once you're in Eclipse mode, go over to where the MPL slash Pharaoh wall buy is, depending upon what game you're playing, whether it's Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 3. Press the big button to activate some dialogue, and directly after pushing the button, 12 plates will spawn on both the minecart side of the map and the bridge side of the map. Standing on a tile will reveal a symbol that has a corresponding symbol on the other side of the map. You'll have to have one person stand on a tile to check which tile it is, and then communicate to the other player that's by the other set of tiles which symbol you're looking at. The player on the other side of the map will have to walk over the tiles until they find the match. However, both players cannot be on a tile at once unless it's to match the correct symbols. If you're both standing on tiles that don't match, the tiles will reset and you'll have to start over. It's also important to do this step as quickly as possible because if you come out of the eclipse mode without matching all the tiles, you'll have to hit the eclipse and start all over again. If you matched all 12 tiles correctly, the eclipse mode will automatically end and you can move on to the next step. Yet again, activate the eclipse and have three of the four players go to the bottom of the water slide and stand on the metal grate. The lone player that isn't standing on the grate will have to slide down the water slide and onto the grate to complete the step. If done correctly, the eclipse will end. Next you're going to need to get the 3175JGB215 in order to complete the next step, so now would be a great time to pop some of the emulation liquidations that you're running to try to get it out of the box. Once you have it, activate the eclipse and a meteor will crash right above the water slide. At the top there should be a big crystal ball that you can shoot with an explosive or a ray gun. When it falls to the ground, shrink it with the baby gun, knife it, and follow it down the slide. It will float over the geyser where you have to launch it into the air by standing on it. The orb will float down into one of the crystal holders and you'll be teleported out of the eclipse. Progress through the rounds until the next time you get a napalm zombie to spawn because you're going to need it for the next step. When the napalm zombie is spawned, thin the round to just a zombie or two and then activate the eclipse. Once you're back in time, you'll have to go into the tunnel that leads into the bottom of the water slide area and turn the wheel on the wall until the gas comes out of the pipe at the end of the hallway. Once the gas is on, lead the napalm zombie down the hallway and the gas will catch fire. You're going to have to walk the napalm from the tunnel all the way to the power room because there are four different gas pipes that need to be lit. There's one next to the tunnel entrance, one next to the geyser, one of the tunnels by the KN wall by, and right at the doorway that leads to the power. After all four are lit, go back to where you turned the wheel and flip the switch. If done correctly, you'll return to the present once again. For the next step, you'll have to purchase either spike mores or trip mines depending upon which game you're on. The more players that have them, the easier the step will be. Go back into the eclipse mode and go to the tunnel that leads from the bridge down to the waterfall. There will be four holes in the wall that you need to be plugged up. In order to plug the holes, you'll have to place either the spike mores or the trip mines down in front of the holes and have zombies walk over them. When they explode, they will clog up the holes, and after all four are plugged, hit the do not press button on the waterfall. After the flooding is over, your eclipse will stop. Have all four players activate the eclipse mode yet again. The next step requires you to knife 12 different symbols that have spawned around the map. On screen, there will be every single symbol location, but there are five in the spawn room, one in the power room, two near the minecart, two by the bridge, and two inside of the tunnel near the waterfall. You don't have to complete these in any order, just make sure you complete them all in one go during the eclipse mode. Once all 12 have been knifed, quickly run to the minecart area. Just outside of the map, there will be a tent where you have to throw a grenade at it, exploding it. This will end the eclipse mode. Return back to the eclipse mode and run over to the mud room. There are four wheels in the wall that have to be set to specific symbols. We're going to start at the one on the left of the wall closest when you walk in. Turn the wheel to the symbol with four dots in a row, putting it at the top. Turn the wheel directly behind you to the symbol with three dots in a row. Now turn the wheel to your right to the C, the line, and the dot. And lastly, the one behind you to a single dot. This will end the eclipse again, moving you on to the next step. Before we go any further, the player with the 3179JGB215 must pack a punch it or else the next step won't work. Have everyone hit the dial to put you back into the eclipse mode because we're on to the gong step. Eight gongs are located around spawn, the minecart area, and the bridge area, and only four of them will be the right gongs to hit. There is no order that you have to hit these in, however, if you hit a gong and it makes the crystals glow red, you're hitting an incorrect gong. These are different every game, so the only way to tell which ones are good is by hitting each of them and seeing which one makes the crystals light up red. When you've found the four that don't make the crystals light up at all, knife each of them. After the fourth gong is hit, all of the crystals will glow orange with Treyarch symbols around them. Shoot the crystal that's above the water geyser near the minecart with the pack a punch baby gun and an orb will shoot through some of the crystals. When the orb passes through the crystal that you shot for the second time, a stick of dynamite will fall out that you'll have to catch by pressing interact. Once you have the dynamite, go back to the spawn area and shoot the crystal that can be seen through this rock pillar with your baby gun. An orb will fly through all of the crystals and then flutter into the meteor atop the temple, causing it to shrink. 
have every one of the game quickly run to the Pack-a-Punch tiles around the map and open it up. When you head up to the Pack-a-Punch area, you'll notice that it's now missing. The player that caught the dynamite will have to interact with the wall to hand it off to Brock and Gary. If you've completed this step correctly, you'll be teleported back to the present for a final time. Reactivate the Pack-a-Punch tiles and head up to the temple. The wall that was there will be destroyed and the focusing stone will be floating on the altar. Pick it up to complete the time travel will tell easter egg. The player who collects the focusing stone will be rewarded with a free perkaholic. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more easy to follow Call of Duty Zombies easter eggs guides.